Let's go with a question. We've certainly done a question <coughs> like this before, but it's a good one. B underscore rad 410 on TikTok again. Whoop, whoop. Uh, been thinking about it for a while now. I presume you're starting getting, you know, getting into the kilt game. Uh, what would be first steps in getting started? Where do you start? The very first steps in getting in started yeah. in wearing Highland wear? Yeah, not sure where to start. What's yeah. the first step? Assuming sure. you're not going full, you know, full bore. Bore. <laughs> and, you know, dropping two full grand bore. on all the, you know, kick right. caboodle. Yeah, that's kind of the yeah. that's kind of the qualifier is what is the budget? Mm -hmm. um, and what do you want to accomplish out of it? Or is this for a wedding? Or is this for a festival? Is this for, you know, a something where you have... You know, you're a trust fund baby, or are you living paycheck to paycheck? So it depends on where you're coming from with it. <coughs> if you have, let's assume, minimal budget. Yeah. <coughs> where I would start is the kilt itself. The rest of your outfit, you can upgrade or downgrade or change things in and out sort of simply. Um, so I would start with the kilt itself and say what I've said in the store multiple times, buy the best kilt you can afford. Do not mortgage your house, but you will not regret getting a nicer kilt, but you could regret getting a lower end kilt if you're going to be wearing it more often. So start there because the kilt is basically the, the centerpiece of the outfit. From there, I would get a, you know, if you have a, a limited budget, a simpler day sporin, maybe a kilt belt and buckle, and then either work with the shirt you have or, you know, add or subtract, you know, based on what you're trying to achieve as far as, you know, formal versus casual. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, we sometimes say that basically a kilt outfit is just regular clothes, take away the pants, add a kilt instead. It can be that simple if you're getting started. Um, absolutely, don't break the bank. If you're feeling very, very unsure, like, you know, you're worried about, community reaction or like you're not sure if you're going to find it comfortable after all or something like that then yeah go for something that's a budget um or go something go with something that's basically you know is a temporary solution you're gonna give it away or resell it you could do that i suppose you know um i will never recommend somebody buying an acrylic kilt but i know that sometimes that's a good gateway for people who are on a budget and trying to test the waters so to say yep um but essentially in in ascending order i would say kilt first then a sporin, just a day sporin, something you can beat up but looks okay. Um, and then kill hose and flashes because <coughs> that is the easiest thing to add if you want to look a little bit more dressed up um, or if it's cold out and you want a little more warmth on your legs. Um, and then you start getting into, you know, then, then a belt and buckle. Yep. Actually, I guess I put the belt and buckle ahead of the kill hose, but kill hose are so cheap, it's, yeah. it's easy. Yeah. It, it's a budgetary way to get into it. Um, and then for up top, yeah. <clears throat> you can either wear a dress shirt, you can wear a sweater, you can wear a sweater vest with a dress shirt underneath it. There are a few different ways to incorporate things that you might already have right. into the outfit so that you can kind of build as you go along. You don't have to drop all the money right out of the gate to be able to be dressed to the nines. If you have the money, great, do it. If you don't, then just kind of build it over time. Um, and I will say uh, the other rule of thumb I always give is the kiss rule. Keep it simple. Um, if you want to look like you're taking this stuff seriously and that you're in it uh, with forethought, don't wear the bright neon, you know, Air Jordan sneakers. Do they even make those anymore? I don't even know. They should. Um, yeah. Don't wear those with a kilt. Wear something simple like boots in black or brown. Don't do the, the you know, the Monster Truck Rally 22 <laughs> um, T-shirt with a kilt where simple something solid color shirt yeah. have a little bit of celtic bling there are little things you can add that make it look like yeah he meant to put that outfit together and oh yeah okay he's he's serious um not like you just kind of threw it on at random but they're easy to do they're simple to do and they're not expensive um at the risk of sounding like a commercial i will say if you look at our website we have things called packages which are designed to help people get started and i'm not saying you have to do one of our packages but the point is if you look at how we put together a casual package you'll see all these elements are talking about broken down. And the finished product is a standard kilted outfit. So just give, make yourself a list. This is how much I have to spend on the kilt. This is the other things I want. This goes on the wish list. This goes on the, hey, grandma, I'd really like this for Christmas list. Um, and these are things I already have in my closet, which I can wear with the kilt. And that's it.
Yeah. Especially if you are difficult to buy for, have your family, have your friends who are going to be giving yeah. you gifts for an occasion, give them hints or tell them, hey, <clears throat> there's this really, really cool company. <laughs> I forget the name. I think it's usakilts.com. Um, <clears throat> get me a gift certificate to there to kind of bolster your budget and then be able to buy the sporn of your dreams or the kilt of your dreams or whatever mm -hmm. and put it towards the outfit. You don't have to do it alone. If you are as difficult to buy for as I am, just have everyone kind of get you towards the goal yeah. or move the ball down the field a little bit. Yeah. But it's basically getting into this. It's like eating peanuts, you know, I mean, you just take the long view, just get the kilt, whatever kilt you can afford. Um, that's decent quality now. And then just roll with it. Take yep. your time. You got all the time in the world. Make sure it feels right. Make sure it's something you're going to enjoy wearing because you don't want to buy it and then have it sit in the closet gathering dust. So, Agreed. Yeah. Go for it. Mr. Ian. I think I interpreted this question just a pinch differently <clears throat> than you guys did. Not so of much course you did. budget. More so like, I'm not sure if I'm all about this life. I Maybe I just want to dip my toe in the water. Mm -hmm. So in that case, I'd say, just start with a kilt. See how you like it. Wear it around the house. Yeah. Expand from there if you're if you're feeling it. And my 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 brain went in that direction too. Mm -hmm. Is basically this this easily dovetails into the next question in a sense that um, how do I wear the kilt for the first time? And uh, like I don't know if you guys can hear on TikTok and hear him well, but uh, because of the way our mics are set. But basically, um, yeah, you get the kilt. The first thing I recommend is wearing it at home for a couple of days doing just stuff putzing around the house you know take out the garbage mow the lawn you know sit down and stand up you know you sound simple but seriously it's, sometimes people feel weird <coughs> and start sitting down in a kilt do that at home so you can feel like it's a natural part of you then go out to someplace that's familiar um probably with a friend or friends it could be a bar it could be a mundane thing like just going shopping it could be going to a ren fair it could be going to a celtic fest but go someplace where you feel like it will be easy to insert yourself into the environment. And sometimes that means having a posse with you, sometimes, or a crew, or fam, if you will. Um, and some, Or sometimes it means someplace that's very quiet, like you know, you and your SO go out on a date, someplace where there won't be a lot of people, but you can kind of practice. So Make out point. Make out point. Exactly. Yeah. <coughs> a kilt is good for make out point. Yeah. I would also say, well. <laughs> hard stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two, I will say that a kilt and a sporin are the entry level yeah. of things you need to do. Yeah, got I, would also, I would also say to your point about wearing it out for the first time and getting some confidence or trying to figure out what you like and how you like it, look at Facebook groups. Go join right. the Kilt and Culture Facebook group or any of the other kilt groups that are out there and sort of look at the photos of other guys wearing kilts and how they wear it, how they accessorize yeah. it, and kind of find your own style within it mm -hmm. yep i agree almost every single kilt ambassador that we've ever had um when one of the questions i always ask them is what would be your advice to a newbie and they almost always say do your homework first yep. so yep. yeah there's that so what do you think do you agree with our advice what one piece of advice would you give to somebody who's just starting out wearing a kilt let us know in the comments if you want to see other videos where we give other types of advice on other things, check out these videos over here.